Good morning. It's time for the North Carolina Vinyl Picker Show. And we're on a trip. We're going to Clemens, North Carolina. We're going to the record show. So stay tuned. It's going to be a big show today. See you soon at the record show. Take 15. This is Art, and I'm the North Carolina Vinyl Picker, and I'm out in the woods, and I'm going to show you what I picked up this week. Yes. Support them Yankees, buddy. They're having a tough time right now. They'll get it together. It's a long season. 80 games left. I'm going to show you what I picked up this week. I was up in Clemens, North Carolina. Met up with the Zonk Man up there. I've been out morning cutting grass all morning, edging, weed eating, doing all kinds of picker stuff and I'm a little bit sweaty but I'm going to get through this show I'm going to tell you that right now so I want to show you first what I picked up up there in Clemens at the record show so there was a guy there and he had a bunch of DVDs there and uh, he had them all five dollars a piece so here we go RPWL this is a um, band out of Germany I believe and uh, they were at the beginning they were a Pink Floyd uh, band they did all the covers for the pink floyd and stuff like that but uh, they have their own records and this one here is just awesome and it's a live show from rpwl i'm not sure what that stands for never did know but i've been listening to them for quite a while i've seen a porcupine tree there rock plast live in colon cologne germany cologne germany i guess is how you pronounce it now this one there was five dollars and then Near Fest 2001, I gotta watch this one. I've seen this before. I've had the, I have the audio of this somewhere, on a CD, a CDR actually. But uh, this might be a also a DVR. So I think this is just a copy. If you can see. But I picked it up at the show for five dollars. Pick this one there up. Brave Live 2002. This of course is Marillion. Well, they're looking really young there. And then this one here, Steve Hogarth. This one here is Friends Romans H Natural with Ranstein Rain or something like that. This is, he's the lead singer for Marillion. Now, didn't used to be. He is now. And he has been for, I don't know, 30 years. So you people that just listen to Fish, get over it, man. It's been a long time. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and show you the things that I picked up this week. I picked up at the record show and I got Santana Amigos. This just about completes my Santana collection. I, uh, I've been trying to get all these 80s Santana and late 70s releases. So I picked that one up there. Mike and the Mechanics, the first album. I really, I like Mike, I like Paul Carrick and I have a couple of his solo albums. And uh, he sings lead vocals on here, along with another fella. It was Paul Carrick and Paul Young, I think. And uh, Mike and the Mechanics. The first two albums are pretty good. Jeff Beck, Truth. I've seen my uh, normal guy that I go up there and buy from. And uh, he had a bunch of cool stuff. And he said, you got to pick this one up. This is a UK first press, 1968 copy of Jeff Beck, Truth. He said, you just don't see these anymore. So I picked that one up, and he had $35 on it, and he gave it to me for $30. So that was really good. This album is really good. I'm glad I sold my old copy a long time ago. And um, I picked this one up there. Finally caught a copy of uh, Pros and Cons of Hitchhiking. Yes, it's the censored one with the covered-up butt shot. Yep, sure is. And finally found a good, clean copy on the greenie of the first Black Sabbath album. I've been looking for that one. Brush Moving Pictures. This is a Friday Music, I believe. He had $20 on it, so that was pretty cheap for that. And I got, had, had sold my old copy that was, had some dings and dangs and scratches and stuff like that. Time and a Word, yes. Now this one here is really good because this was a record store day one. I did not have and the guy had, I think, $15 on this thing. He didn't know what he had. It was a uh, record store day, uh, German edition. Classic, yes. 
and uh, probably the find of the day. I'll put these down real quick. The find of the day. Oh, I'm outside. It's a little difficult. I got the Kate Bush. Yes. And this cover is, if you can see it, it is just roached. But it is the marble one, which is the hard one to get. And they're selling right now on eBay anywhere from um, $75 to $150. But in this cover, I probably wouldn't get that much for it. But I'm not going to be selling it anyway. I already have a pristine copy of this that I picked up a long time ago for like $35. But uh, the guy had 20 on this. I said, would you take 10 You got a picker price? First cousin price? He said, sure. I said, I couldn't get it fast enough. So that was the pick of the day from the record show. And um, the best part of the day was meeting the old Zonk Man. Yes, buddy, the old Zonk Man. Meeting up with him. That was nice. And um, I was going to get some uh, barbecue while I was up there, but I uh, ran out of time. I had to get back. So I got this one in the mail. Somebody had this as a record store day. Moody Blues, Say It With Love. And this is from the album uh, Days of Future Past. It was a video, uh, DVD, and an uh, album. And they did, they redid the whole Days of Future Past, which I want to try to get the video and the um, soundtrack for that, the, um, the record. So, but this is a um, promo, like from that on Record Store Day, where they do three songs, Say It With Love, Stepping in a slide zone, and one other one. What was it? The story in your eyes. So that was nice to get, and I think he, I got it for like ten dollars. And, and what else did I get? Oh, this I got this yesterday in the mail. This is Marillion's latest uh, tour. This is from last year, 2023, an hour before it's dark. So that's cool. So I'm looking forward to giving this a spin and uh, playing this. It's going to be awesome. It's the tour I won't get to see. Oh, I'm looking to see him. I got to see him on the last tour, though, and I was living in Florida. And I found this at the Habitat for Humanity. Yep, buddy. Victory at Sea. Another copy. This makes probably number 56. I don't know. I got a lot of them. There's a lot of different ones. So this one's here, Victory at Sea, Volume 2. Robert, Robert Russell Bennett. Yes. That's all the pickers got for you this week. Top five bands. What are the Pickers top five bands? Right down below. These bands are not like Pink Floyd and um, Genesis and bands that are no longer together. These top five, my top five bands that are still making music today. What are they? Write it in the comment section down below. Let the Picker know that you're uh, giving me some feedback. And uh, I always appreciate it when I get new subscribers. I've been getting a few lately. Not as many as I'd like, but that's okay. A uh, little uh, engine that could is over 1,000. And I'm pushing towards 1,500. So I'll get there eventually. Not worried at all. Subscription. If you like the channel, subscribe. I had a lot of pictures of my dog, my daughter's dog, uh, going out into the woods and stuff like that. So... Yep, I'm going to end this one quick. It's going to be a quick one today, just eight minutes. So write down where you think my top five bands are. Now, these can't be bands that aren't making music anymore. These are bands that are still making music. We'll talk to you soon. North Carolina Vinyl Picker, I'm out.